Hello. Welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. In this group of lessons, we are learning how to configure advanced workflows using an Excel workbook. In the previous video, we reviewed key data source settings that affect workflows in general. In this video, we will discuss what a workflow rules engine workbook is and why it is important. So why is a workflow rules engine, WRE workbook needed? The workflow rules engine workbook is used to configure advanced workflows for a given data source. The workbook is then imported into the ProjectWise data source to implement the configuration. Let's start with understanding some key terms of the workflow rules engine. Operation types are the new items that will appear to the user in ProjectWise Explorer on the document change state menu and in ProjectWise 365 work area connections on the document workflow menu. These new items only appear when a rules engine workflow has been assigned to the selected document's parent folder. In this case, the standard state changing commands next, previous, and change are visible but disabled. Workflow rules are used to define what should happen to a document in a particular workflow state when a specific operation is selected on the document change state menu in ProjectWise Explorer and on the document workflow menu in ProjectWise 365 work area connections. Workflow rules settings define behaviors for all workflows that use the workflow rules engine especially for controlling revision attributes. Now that you have seen the workflow rules engine from the user point of view, let's see how to configure the rules in the workflow rules engine workbook. The workbook has three worksheets that correspond to the three main concepts of the rules engine. Operation types worksheet for operation types, the rules worksheet for rules, and the settings worksheet for settings. In this video, we discussed what a workflow rules engine workbook is and why it is important. In the next three videos, we will dive into the workflow rules workbook and discover how to configure menu options for specific workflows. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.